Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can watch UK TV abroad using the internet. Okay, as you probably know, most of the main um, UK TV stations have all got an online service. BBC has got the iPlayer, ITV has got ITV Player, there's Channel 4, Channel 5, have all got most, the majority of their programs online, which you can watch through uh, a browser on a PC, Mac, desktop, um, smartphone, anything you like really. <coughs> the problem is, when you're outside the UK, none of these programs work. Um, you can see here, this is ITV Player, you'll get this sort of message. This video is not available to play in your region. If you go to the BBC iPlayer, you'll normally get this uh, little message if you try and watch any of the content. Um, the reason is, basically, all these sites block access to anybody who's outside the UK. Um, they do that by looking up your IP address when you connect. So if you happen to be on holiday in Spain or France or whatever, and you try and connect to the BBC site, it'll see that you're located in that country and you'll get blocked. It doesn't matter if you're a license payer, it doesn't matter um, if you're an expat and you've got a house in UK or whatever. Everybody who's not got a British IP address gets blocked, okay? Um, fortunately, there is a workaround here, and which has worked for, for years and years. Um, this is basically just hiding your IP address and presenting a UK one instead. You do this by using um, proxy servers. Uh, a proxy server is a, a computer that sits in between you and your connection. They're normally used for security to make sure your um, browsing is safe. Um, you can encrypt it so that uh, it can't be intercepted or anything. But in this case, it actually helps you by hiding your real location. Okay, so I'm going to close these down. I'm going to show you the tool I use um, when I'm traveling to watch uh, British television. I use a program called Identity Cloud Cut. Now, there are other ones. Um, this is the one I found the best value and the fastest, which is quite important to me. Um, because streaming HD and video needs fast servers, otherwise it'll be um, too painful. Identity Cloaker sits in my taskbar, and when I want to go to a different country, metaphorically speaking, I just scroll down and pick a server. Um, this works for all different sites. There's lots of US-only sites, for instance, like Hulu, Pandora, ABC, loads and loads of them. Um, you can use a US server for that. These, they're all included in the subscription. It's, um, it's not very expensive. It's a few pounds a, a month, I think about five pounds, five euros, something like that. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to demonstrate it now. I'm going to connect to a UK server um, and connect. There we go. And um, then minimize it. Um, from this point, I will present the um, UK IP address. The Identity Cloaker um, IP address is one that everyone will see. Okay. So now, when I go to the BBC uh, Player site, instead of getting blocked, <coughs> excuse me, um, I should be able to play the content fine. Because what it's doing is it's seeing the Identity Cloaker uh, IP address. That particular server is um, in UK, and it'll play. You can see that's play. And it's super fast. You can actually disconnect at this point if you want, because um, with BBC iPlayer, it only checks at the beginning of the stream. So you could just disconnect Identity Cloaker down here if you wanted to. Let's go to ITV and see that's working. Um, here we go to ITV and see so you usually got a message um, and this time it'll uh, we, we can log in here let's just log into my account I should play now you see it's now playing the program so it's really quick and easy to do um, I personally just leave it sitting there in my browser. Uh, again, you can use it for accessing whichever site that you want, really. Um, 
it's great for YouTube videos. I don't know if you've noticed a lot of YouTube videos you sometimes get not available in this country. You could just change your IP address to the country you need and um, you can watch whatever you like. It's surprising how many places now restrict access. Um, there's servers in Canada, France, Germany, Australia, Ireland, um, Switzerland, <coughs> Czechoslovakia and Canada and America, a, th a few more. Um, plenty anyway to use and there's only one subscription which I should add doesn't auto renew. There's a uh, discount code on this screen somewhere that you can get 15% off if you want to try it. Um, it's my recommendation. You can go down the route of free proxies. Um, it's quite hard work though. Um, be very careful with these because a lot of them are infected with uh, viruses and um, hackers infiltrate them and try and steal your data. If you just stream video, it's not too bad. The problem with, with them is trying to find uh, a free one that works for any period of time and is fast enough. It can sometimes be impossible, but it, it can be done, okay? Um, just search for free UK proxies and you'll, you'll find some to try out. Uh, you need a lot of time on your hands, but it is an option. Okay, well, I'll, I'll finish you here now. Uh, I hope this has given you some insight on how to watch UK TV abroad, and um, thank you for listening. Goodbye.